September 8, 2021 Daily Devotion Our scripture reading for today is found in Psalms chapter 144, verses 12 to 15. May our sons in their youth be like plants full grown, our daughters like corner pillars cut for the structure of a palace. May our granaries be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring four thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Bless me, Lord. My youngest daughter used to make a long wish list every Christmas. I would have hoped it was for Santa, except for the fact that as Christians, we taught her not to believe in Santa. She would ask me for my budget, work on that, sometimes even subsidizing part of the expensive gifts she wanted. The scripture reading for today made me think twice. Full granaries, prolific cattle, bountiful harvest. Aren't we supposed to be selfless in our prayers? Aren't we to pray for others and not desire material wealth and prosperity? If you read the whole of Psalm 144, you will get a bigger picture of David's prayer. He gave praise to the Lord. He knew where he stood. Verse 3 states, O Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? He acknowledged the power and generosity of the Lord. We know the Psalms can be candid and sometimes even brutal to the ears. But since the Lord judges the thoughts and attitudes of our hearts, and nothing in creation is hidden in God's sight, Hebrews 4.12, we can be honest with the Lord and lift everything to Him. We can rest assured that He who did not spare His own Son is able to give us immeasurably more than we ask or imagine, Ephesians 3.20. 1 Timothy 6.17 even tells us that our God richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. So next time you pray, remember you can be honest with God. Like how my daughter is not ashamed to ask for me. You can tell the Lord what's in your heart. He knows it anyway. Of course, He will not always answer positively, but we are still encouraged to lift up everything. Ephesians 6.18 says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Yup, don't forget to pray for others too. One more thing. When we do ask for generous blessings, whether the Lord graciously answers in the affirmative or not, Remember that our greatest blessing is that we are God's children and the Lord is our God. Reflection How do I pray to the Lord? What are the things I pray for? What are the things that I think are too trivial or too lavish to ask of God? Prayer Heavenly Father, You have made me and You know me. You perceive my thoughts from afar. Before a word is on my tongue, you even know it completely. You know what I need even before I ask for it. There are things that I do not have because I do not ask. Let me remember, I just need to ask. There are things I do not receive though because my motives are wrong. Help me discern those mistakes. Thank you that I can meet all my needs according to your glorious riches. In Jesus' name, amen.